What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a loom of fade transition. It's actually very simple and easy to do and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's very simple. I'm going to try and keep it under three minutes if anything because it's actually probably the easiest and simplest thing you can do. So this is what I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Uh, what we're going to be doing in Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm going to go ahead and push play so you guys can see the effect. I also call it the uh, uh, Sam Calder transition, I guess. But this one is very simple to do in Final Cut Pro 10 that you can do in Premiere as well. But let me go ahead and push play. <laughs> So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just go ahead and open up the compound clip. I did uh, create a compound clip to add the letterbox to it or else it's going to be acting all weird. So here we just have a normal transition and then we have the video itself. And this can be anything of course guys. Just uh, go ahead and, and just do your edits in Final Cut Pro 10. And when you're ready to add the transitions, these are the transitions we're going to add. It's all built in into Final Cut Pro 10, so you don't have to get any plugins or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete these transitions right here. So all we did is we added a dissolve transition in the transitions browser. So if you go to the transitions, you go to dissolves, we're going to go ahead and select the cross dissolve. Go ahead and drag that in between the clips. You want to make sure that the clips are long enough or you cannot add a cross dissolve or it's going to cut frames and it's going to look weird. So we have this one right here. It looks normal as you can see there. It kind of fades out. You want to make this a little longer. So click on one of the ends, drag it out kind of like this. And we have a nice smooth long transition. From here what we want to go ahead and do is click on to the transition. Just click on it once. Then you want to go ahead and go onto the inspector window by clicking this button right here or command 4. You want to go ahead and go under cross dissolve for the look and video should be selected. But there's a whole different kinds of looks that you guys can go for. Normally I'm going to go for shadows and this will only keep the shadows in the video so the darkest areas and I kind of fade it in a way with the next video. And then the amount we're going to go to 100%. And the amount or the ease amount, we're going to go around between 20 to 30 would be good. I usually go with 25. And the ease, we're just going to go with ease in. So it gets the full maximum look. And the fade in type, you guys can do linear. You can do an S-curve. Usually S-curve is the most smoothest. So I just keep it how it is. And we're pretty much done with the Luma fade. As you can see here, that is the transition right there without even adding any plugins or anything like that all just using Final Cut Pro 10. And of course, you can do this in Premiere Pro and After Effects, which is normally what people use, but I wanted to show you guys how to do it in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, if you wanna go ahead and copy the transition, just press Command C, and then go in between the clip and press Command V. And usually it applies the effect, as you can see there, without having to do everything again. And uh, you have right there the Luma Fade transition. So this is a very simple and very short tutorial, I know. But I just thought that I wanted to show you guys how to do this effect. Just because it was really cool and very simple to do. So if you found this video helpful in any way, please drop a like. That will be awesome. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment down what you guys want to see next. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.